GoPro, all that good. Here's your story, let's begin. The water's fine, come on, dive in. The future's here, it's right before your eyes. I want to give a little update, a uh, couple exciting developments. First of all, I have wanted this for a long time. It's the GoPro 5 Black, and um, I didn't think it was really possible unless I was going to spend six or seven hundred dollars for for an item that sells new for three ninety nine or less. Uh, so I just gave up on the idea. Now, why do I want that one? Besides the fact that it's it's so small, it's very cool, and it has amazing features, amazing images. Boy, the cloud has really dropped down or moved in. Check that out. That's not fog, that's cloud. Can't even see the river. Plus, um, I'm never comfortable walking around holding up this gold big old phone here, um, taking pictures, it's advertising I don't need. And um, I also have a Canon that I'm shooting on right now, and it's a very good camera, but it has some limitations. I've, I've had it for a while, uh, three, four years, and uh, to do this sort of thing, it really needs an upgrade. A minimum of $1,200 camera um, to upgrade this one and by the time I order that and get it here it's going to be closer to $2,000 and I just I hate the the idea of just burning money so how did I get this dare you ask this is really freaky Man, check that out. I don't know if it comes across. I was doing my usual thumbing through the internet, wishing that I had a, a way to do it. And I was on OLX and just on a whim typed in the uh, GoPro Hero 5 Black. And up pops. Um, new for $470. Well, $70 more, that's palatable. So I contact the person and he tells me that he can meet me at the mall. What store? Well, not at one of the stores. He can meet me at one of the entrances. Hmm. Well, all right, what the hell? And so I go, and he comes in with his son, and uh, the son speaks some pretty good English. Obviously, they spent time, spent time in the States. And uh, he's got a brand new GoPro, $470. So I hand him the money, I take the, the, uh, phone, the camera, and it's awesome. I'm, I'm in love with this camera. Um, something. But I'm going to take a, a little trip to Paute, Tortole, and Sig Sig. Now those are three towns that are all very close to Cuenca. You can get to them half hour, 45 minutes, maybe an hour to Sig Sig. Uh, they're very close. They're known for certain things and I'm not going to go over any of that right now. But I plan on going. I'll spend a night in each town. Comfortable, relaxing. 
Um, it's one of the things I have to uh, line up is to take care of my dogs. And I'm going to be taking videos. And one of the reasons I've been... I haven't taken videos in those towns before because my camera, although a really good camera, the stabilization is almost non-existent on the Canon. I'd have to get the newer model. And on the phone, it's not very good. And you can see that in some of the videos. And what makes it worse is when you upload to YouTube, any shake that's going on gets dramatically worse. If you were to look at the, the root film of some of the things I've posted, they weren't so bad. But you put it up on YouTube and it goes crazy. So um, this has a really good stabilization uh, feature. It's digital, not mirror-based. And uh, I'm expecting to get some really good uh, movement shots and that sort of thing. It also has a really good ability for time-lapse, slow motion, and that kind of thing. I don't know if I'm going to go there, but um, it's, it's an amazing feature-packed camera. So that's what's going on. A uh, little trip coming up. If you have any desire to see anything in particular, let me know in this next week so I can uh, plan to make sure I get it in a video, take pictures or whatever. Um, when I go, I'm not going to be getting everything. I'm just getting the things of interest to me. So, that's it. You know you're cool.